Welcome back to Virtual Story Time. Yeah, this week we are talking about pajamas. pajamas. Yeah, cozy. Maybe you are still wearing your pajamas right now while you're watching this. If you're lucky, that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. So grab a stuffed animal. We hope you enjoy these pajama stories and a very good pajama puppet show. And we will see you after that. Bye. Bye. I'm going to read for you one of my all-time favorite pajama stories and i bet you like it too we're gonna read llama llama red pajama llama llama red pajama reads a story with his mama mama kisses baby's hair mama llama goes downstairs Llama Llama Red Pajama feels all alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Llama Llama, red pajama, waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Llama Llama, red pajama, whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Oh no. Llama Llama, red pajama, listens for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Oh, Llama's very sad now. Llama Llama, red pajama, hollers loudly for his mama. It looks like he is yelling loud. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. That is an unhappy Llama. Llama Llama, red pajama, in the dark without his mama, eyes open wide, covers drawn, what if Mama Llama's gone? Oh no. Llama is really yelling now. Llama Llama, red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Llama, Mama Llama, run, run, run. Here she comes. Oh no, she's running fast. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient for your Mama. Little Llama, don't you know? Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama, snuggles pillow, soft and deep. Baby Llama goes to sleep. The end. And I'm going to read you a story called Edgar Gets Ready for Bed. Once upon a midnight dreary, Edgar, finish your vegetables, Edgar says, never more. Eek! Look, he's scaring his sister. Don't do that to your sister. It looks like he's gonna keep doing it. Eek! Now go clean up your room, Edgar says, never more. Looks kinda messy. <gasps> Look at Edgar, what is he doing? He's drawing pictures on the wall. Do we ever color on the wall? Nope, crayons are for paper. <gasps> Here comes mom. Edgar! It's time for your bath. What do you think Edgar says? Nevermore! 
Now let's get you into your pajamas. Uh-oh, looks like his head got stuck. He says, Time to brush your teeth. Look, he's scaring his sister again, this time with his shadow. Edgar, he's being so naughty. Can't you sit still for one minute? No, not even one? Never. Look at him wiggling around like that in his cute blue pajamas. Come on, dear, and I'll read you a story. Hmm. Ooh, look, she's reading him a story called The Raven. Mom, do you still love me? What do you think? Our moms still love us sometimes, even when we're not good. Yes, Edgar, I'll always love you. Evermore. The end. Melanie, it's time for bed. In a minute, Mom, I'm busy, Melanie answered. Mom poked her head in the room. Melanie, it's time for bed now, she said. Just one more minute, Mom. I'm very, very busy. Melanie was building a tower for her animals to live in. One minute passed, then another, then another. Well, sighed Melanie's mother. Someone has to get ready for bed. How about you, Bart? Melanie didn't notice them leave. Her tower still needed more blocks. Bath time, Mom said. Melanie stepped back and admired her tower. Hmm, she thought, it still needs something else. I see you want to play, said Mom. Okay, just this once though. Aha, said Melanie, an elephant house in case elephants come to play. I have to make it bigger. All dry, said Mom. Melanie looked at her tower. It was spectacular. She even had a name for it. The very spectacular Melanie Tower. She made a sign for it that read, Elephants Welcome. Now, let's brush your teeth, Mom said to Bart. Melanie tilted her ear toward the bathroom. Was that her mother talking? Who was she talking to? Such lovely hair. Mom said as she brushed out the tangles in Bart's hair and tied a pretty ribbon. Melanie peeked into the bathroom. Hey, she said, that's my ribbon. Mom seemed not to have heard Melanie. Here are your favorite pajamas, Mom said to Bart. You'll look just like a princess. Those are my pajamas, Melanie grumbled. I look like a princess in them. Now here's Daddy to give you a big goodnight kiss. Melanie always loved Daddy's big goodnight kisses. Time for a bedtime story. Let's read your favorite, said Mom. Bart jumped up onto Melanie's bed. Melanie ran to the bathroom and quickly brushed her teeth. Now pajamas. She had already missed having her hair brushed, missed getting her pretty ribbon, and missed Daddy's goodnight kiss. She didn't want to miss her favorite part of the bedtime story, too. Mom finished reading the story. The room was quiet. Did you enjoy it, Bart? She whispered. But when Mom looked down, Bart was already fast asleep. And curled up beside him. So was Melanie. It had been a busy, busy day. The end. Hello and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those cozy pajama stories. 
And we do have a fun craft for you this week, especially if you liked the story of Llama Llama and his red pajamas. So, and you can come pick up supplies uh, for that craft here at the library, either in person at the front desk, or you can call us from the parking lot and we'll bring it to your car. So we hope that you have a really great week and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.